What's up, Mayhem Nation? Me and Trento here. We've been plowing all day, getting these food plots ready for September. Uh, we're about to start slinging some seed, and we just want to kind of take a minute to, you know, talk a little bit about what we like to do. Uh, Trento, tell them about a little bit what we got mixed up right here. Oh, well, you know, we've kind of, through trial and error through the years, kind of figured out these deer like a variety, you know. They want something that's going to be mature early, mid, and late season. So we go with some oats, brassicas, uh, turnips, radishes, you know, and throw in some clover and chicory. The chicory, they eat, they really seem to like it come about October. Yeah, I was gonna say, we had a we had a pretty good stand of chicory in here last year in this food plot here, and I mean, buddy, by the end of October, it was tore slap up. There wasn't nothing left. They had it just, they were digging it up. And uh, so we're gonna go back with a little more chicory this year than we did last year. Um, we got three different food plots we're gonna plant this today. So uh, we're gonna cut to it and uh, y'all stay with us. One thing we didn't really mention, we don't really tell everybody, but we'll let you guys in on it. Down here in Georgia, these deer love purple hole peas, field peas as some people like to call them, but we call them purple holes. I guarantee you, you plant you a spot of purple holes, the deer are gonna love you. They're gonna love the peas, they're gonna stay in them all the time. Y'all try them out. All right, guys, as we said earlier, uh, we planted three food plots. You saw the first one. This is gonna be the second one. The third one, we're not gonna show you because we're actually banking on that one being where we're gonna do the bulk of our filming this fall. Uh, I mean, it's like way back in the thick stuff. I got some really cool footage of it coming into from the tractor, you know, uh, give you a little glimpse of it and everything. I mean, it is back in the thick stuff. We call it hotty hole for a reason because you got to be uh, on your toes to get there. So. Uh, what we're doing here is, uh, I'm gonna let Trent explain it a little bit, but this food plot, we've strategically placed this one for a certain reason, and Trent, I'm gonna let you tell them why. Yeah, this one's kinda in the, the center of our property. You know, we, we kind of just eyeballed it, got close to the middle, and the way our food plots are all stretched out, it just gives them reason to stay on their feet longer. You know, they, they come down from either direction. They've gotta come here, they gotta cover a quarter of the property to get down here to this one. And then our other one's about another quarter away. So it just makes them stay on their feet longer, gives you a higher probability of seeing them. Yeah, you definitely want to uh, have one of these food plots in, in one of your areas, wherever you're hunting. Uh, we're not really going to pressure this one all that much. Um, this is more just like Trent said, to keep them on their feet. You know, I mean, if we get some good deer using this thing and the, the activity is real high from the trail cameras that we're going to put out, you know, then, then we might consider it, but this is not going to be an area that we're going to focus on trying to hunt because we really want them to just feel comfortable um, feeding here, especially, our, you know, late in the evenings when there's still daylight because we've got stands scattered out all over this thing to where these deer are traveling to and from this focal point. We've planted this food plot for the last four years. It's really worked for us in seeing activity in our other areas because we haven't hunted it. So, uh, you know, that's one of the really important things you need to do when you're out on a new piece of property or just a piece of property you've been using for a while, you know, put you a food plot in in the center part of it or just, it doesn't have to be in the center, just somewhere, you know, in the middle of where you got a bunch of stands that you want to hunt, but you don't intend on hunting the food plot because it really will increase your um, sightings of deer and everything. I mean, they're just, they, they have to come to this thing and they, they want to come and feed here. So they'll start working other areas and, and they'll get more consistent. So uh, I guarantee if you try it out, you'll like it. two weeks since we planted our plots again you know when you plant your plots try to get the most bang for your buck um, you know if you can't get soil samples done use a good 10 10 10 fertilizer um, we're fortunate enough that we have access to a 
chicken farmer, so we get chicken litter. It's a really good, cheap alternative to fertilizing, and if you can get to it, use it. You know, it really does the job. Again, you know, with the seeds, make sure if you're going to plant a, a mix, get something that's going to cover mid, to, you know, early to mid, mid to late, and then late season. Uh, we've got peas, uh, oats, that'll be good early to mid, and then chicory is going to be killer for the mid season into the late. Then, you know, get your turnips and your radishes in. Uh, you know, just a little bit of hard work, some sweat, a little bit of rain, take you a long way.